Hey guys, how are you? Grant right here. I'm back here today for another video. Now today, I have one word that I think you guys are going to want to hear. Lara Fabian. Lara, Lara, Lara. I know it has been a long time since I have reacted to our girl Lara again. You guys know, I keep saying it over and over again, this channel is growing like crazy. It is like triple the size it was the last time I reacted to Lara, so I have just tons of requests that I've been trying to get to, but uh, you guys know that I am, you know, an absolute humongous fan of Lara Fabian, so I had to get back to her today uh, because there were a couple of reactions that I've been wanting to do for a long time. Today's reaction request comes from Fedor Ivanov, I hope I pronounced it correct, who requested that I react to Lara's performance of Jetam in 1997. Uh, from her concert, Pure. Um, I'm super excited about this uh, because uh, I did a reaction to another one of her performances at this concert last year. Um, she was, you know, arguably in her, you know, prime during this time uh, in 1997. Her voice, w I mean, she's still absolutely unbelievable. You can barely tell any difference in her voice because of how well she's preserved it. But I always like to see these vintage performances from these, uh, you know, iconic you know, vocalists as her. Um, and I know this is going to be absolutely mind-blowing, so I am here, I'm ready, and you guys better be too. So without further ado, let's get into it. <laughs> Before I begin today's video, as always, if you are new here, welcome to this community. I am happy to have you here. If you would please be so kind, hit that subscribe button. No, smash that subscribe button. There's tons of content coming you don't want to miss. Give this video a thumbs up at the end and be sure to check my social handles in the drop down box below. Little PS, a uh, little shameless plug here. For those of you who did not see my community post, my new single, Where Would I Be, is coming out on the 4th of next month. Uh, the music video will be out on the same day, so be sure to pre-save it. I will have the link in the drop-down box below. Now let's get into it. Un soir où, un soir où ça allait pas tellement bien, comme il y a des soirs comme ça pour tout le monde, et je l'écris sous forme d'exorcisme en fait pour pour me faire du bien. Alors je considère que je l'écris un peu pour moi. Ensuite je l'écris pour lui. Et ce soir, comme chacune de mes chansons, elle est à vous. Ce qui 
mind-blowing is an understatement. That was a whole nother freaking planet of excellence. Unbelievable. Man, have I missed reacting to Lara. Never disappoints, I'm telling you. Never a bad performance. Best of the best. Absolutely unbelievable. Whew. Okay, guys. So, to begin, I want to start off by saying once again... This concert, this whole concert was absolutely amazing. I have seen several of the uh, clips from the concert throughout the years. Legendary Laura. Um, absolutely unbelievable. She was, you know, sort of starting out in, in this era. Um, this was sort of uh, the beginning. Um, Laura Fabian, she still sounds almost exactly the same, though, so you never really know the difference. But like I said before, I love seeing vintage clips of uh, these iconic singers such as her, Whitney, you know, Mariah, etc. Now, I want to point out something. You really, really know that someone is special, you know, a singer is special when you don't, they're singing in a language you don't understand and you're still connecting. Um, and that is always the case with Laura when I uh, listen to her performances outside of English. Um... I, you know, subtitles obviously do help, but when a singer really, really knows how to emote and when they're, you know, really, really uh, seasoned in their craft um, and they really, really know how to connect with an audience, um, it sort of goes beyond the language. Um, you feel the connection just with the emotion that, you know, is exuding from their voice in general. You can make a connection in that way. And like I said, it's... Um, it it's, it goes beyond just, you know, the words. And that's what's so special about music because oftentimes uh, the lyrics obviously do help, but they're not even needed when you're connecting with a song. It's the actual melody and the, just the voice itself. And it's really, really absolutely astounding to even think about. Uh, but that was definitely the case here as with all of her other performances. I've said it a million times, the resonance on this woman. You don't even need to hear me say it again. And, and every other vocal coach, every other performer who's reacted to her has said the same thing. The resonance is almost, uh, you know, painful in a good way. Um, and effortless. Her voice just, she has such magnificent um, technique that uh, she doesn't even need to think about it. She could just wake up. She could be in, you know, on the couch right over here and be lying down and, you know, start belting and the resonance would be out of this world. That's how just gifted this woman is. One thing I want to touch on that I haven't with her before, um, that some people say is a good thing, some people say it's a bad thing. I don't know how they could say that, but um, what I love about Laura is she's one of those singers, one of the only singers that is able uh, to use uh, um, her vowel enunciation the way she does without blowing her voice out because of her amazing technique. A lot of vocal coaches actually, which I agree with in some extent, but I don't in another. It depends on the voice. It depends on the um, style. A lot of vocal coaches uh, will, you know, instruct their students, uh, you know, especially if it's like an A vowel, ah, ah, je dam, to um, alter it sort of to like a je dam, sort of a muted version of the vowel. So they're not stretching as far and they're not putting as much pressure on their voice because it does take, depending on the technique, depending on your use, if you're using mixed voice or chest voice, it takes a lot more to belt an a, a you know, a vowel such as, you know, je dam, you know, straight on dam rather than dum because it just takes a lot more breath and your, your, the placement of your voice is, you know, forward rather than, like I said, muted. So, um, she always pronounces her A's head on. Um, and a lot of times the, vo the voice is obviously mixed, but there's a lot of power in there. So she's using, she's putting a lot of pressure there, but it's her technique that allows her to do so, so effortlessly. And she's one of those rare cases where it is a good thing, in my opinion, uh, to, uh, you know, do your vowels the way she does. Absolutely amazing. I don't care what anyone says. A lot of people don't like it. A lot of people do. Absolutely incredible. End of story. And I've said it before with her. The way she's able to come down from those climaxes, just so simple, is just absolutely amazing because I say this about a lot of singers, myself included. I'm not leaving myself out of the equation. When you are up in the rafters, 
in the climax of a song, there's adrenaline pumping through you. It's natural. There's nothing you can do about it. Even the most seasoned performer, when you get up there in them rafters, you're giving it your all. You know what I mean? So naturally, you're going to be riveted toward the end. You're still going to have that adrenaline pumping through you. So a lot of times when a singer comes down from that, you can sort of hear there's a little bit of a shakiness in their voice or the quality it has deteriorated even a t tiny little bit with her. Can't even tell. Can't even tell. It's unbelievable. And a lot of times to make up for that um, with singers, and I do, I've done this in the past myself too, a singer will go off into a, you know, complex run to mask the fact that they, the quality in their tone has decreased a little bit because of the adrenaline that has been pumping through them in the, that high belt that they, you know, did prior to. Um, so there will be an excessive run at the end rather than a very simple little phrase. And that's what I love about Laura because she doesn't end her performances with a bunch of, oh, I've done it in the past too, like I said. But every once in a while, it's so nice to hear a performance end just with a, uh, or a, just a very, very simple word or very simple phrase without too much complexity with the vocal runs. And Laura, that's her signature. She ends her songs very simply, but it's incredibly effective. And it's one of the things I've said before that makes her so different from a lot of the other, most of the other singers out there. And one of the last things I got to mention, one of the things I loved about this concert was the white suit. Um... Man, woman, alien, I don't care. A white suit and me, I absolutely love a white suit. That is my favorite piece of clothing. You've seen me wear white suits in several of my music videos and performances. I love a white suit. It's classic, timeless, and just incredibly elegant, and she wore it fantastically. Also, uh, one thing that I noticed, this doesn't even have anything to do with the actual song, but I always notice this in performances. I love how they showed a clip of her guitar player and her background singers, because a lot of times... The background people in these performances don't get the kudos they deserve, and they do deserve it. These performances would not go on if it wasn't for the people sort of quote-unquote behind the scenes, the background singers, the drummers, the keyboard players, the pianists, the guitar players. All of these people go into making an incredible performance, and they did a damn good job in this one. And I'm just so happy once again that her team, whoever did the video, included that in this clip because... It matters, especially to people like me. Absolutely incredible performance. Can't expect anything else from Laura. She is an icon, a living legend. I'm so happy we were able to get back to her today. And if you guys have any other requests, I still do have requests that I'm trying to get through, but I don't see too many. Give me your requests for Laura. Um, I would like to react to some of her newer stuff. If any of you guys want to send some requests here from some of her newer stuff, because I know she's still putting out music, putting out albums, send your requests. I will try to get to as many as possible. And a big thank you to you guys for requesting this performance today. Thank you so much for joining me today for this reaction video. Please give the video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. I don't know what you're waiting for. If you have not yet done so, join the fam. There's tons of content coming you don't want to miss. If you are new here and you wish to support this channel, you can do two things. Find me on Patreon, subscribe for a low monthly premium to have inclusive access on content you won't find anywhere else, and or you can leave me a donation via Cash App. Details will be in the drop down box below. And you guys know the deal. If you want me to react to something, leave your request in the comments down below. I will try to get to as many as possible. I can't guarantee because the channel is growing like crazy, but I will get to as many as I humanly can, and I thank you guys for that. Love you all. Stay blessed. Stay safe. Keep the positivity going. We need all we can get in this world. I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.